This program is produced by the volunteers of Teleco Village Broadcasting. Good morning, I'm Dick Kolaszewski with the Teleco Village Lions Club. We'd like to thank the great staff here at TVB for giving us the opportunity to talk about some of our activities. This morning we're going to talk about two things. Number one, a fundraiser, and secondly, an activity that all of you can participate in, the collection effort we do for used pill containers, eyeglasses, uh, hearing aids, and cell phones. Now, our, our golf outing, which is coming up on the 11th of May at Toqua, is one of our largest fundraisers each year. And this year, as again, it'll be at Toqua. We'll start with a shotgun start at 9 o'clock in the morning on Saturday, May 11th, the day before Mother's Day. Uh, we're, it's a foursome best ball event where you can have an all-male, all-female, or a mixed foursome. In addition to the regular round of golf, uh, you'll have uh, an opportunity to win prizes for the longest drive, the most accurate drive, closest to the pin, in our contest for each gender, male and female. In addition, uh, what we'll give you is an opportunity, if you're sort of having a bad day, to rent a pro to make a tee shot for you. And the other thing is to take care of those minor errant shots, you'll be able to buy mulligans. The afternoon, or the morning, I should say, we'll start off with a continental breakfast, then we'll play golf, and then afterwards there'll be a lunch with an award ceremony. Now, I mentioned that this is our largest fundraiser. Now, what do we do with those funds? 100% of what is earned in this fund, and it's earned in two ways, from the fees from the players, from the purchase of the mulligans and the golf pro and the third thing and the largest source of funds for this event are sponsors local businesses who support us by buying sponsorships that cost anywhere from 100 to a thousand dollars now every penny of that goes to support our service activities what's an example of it each month we hold a health fair at the good samaritan center here in lenore city what we do is, one of the things is conduct a vision screening. Now, people who meet poverty guidelines and whose the screen indicates that they have vision problems are next examined by an optometrist who's a member of the team. If they need glasses, he prescribes glasses, and the Lions Club buys the glasses as well as pays for the examination. We typically in each month provide about 10 to 13 pairs of free glasses. That costs us about $1,500 a month or a total of about $15,000. So that's what the proceeds from the golf outing go to. So gather up your foursome. If your family's visiting you for Mother's Day, bring them along, join us, have some fun and contribute to a great cause here in the community. Now on to the activity that all of you can participate in. And that's the program where we collect uh, pill containers, eyeglasses, hearing aids, and cell phones. Wayne DeLauder is one of our lions who is responsible for a couple of these programs. So I've asked him to discuss the collection of the pill containers with you, for starters. So Wayne, tell us about the pill collection effort. Okay, uh, we in the uh, Lions Club have found a way that we, and when I say we, everyone in the uh, village, uh, Telco Village, can really make a difference to the world's poorest poor. And we do this through this program of uh, collecting uh, pill bottles, prescription built pill bottles. Uh, we do this in conjunction with the uh, organization, a humanitarian organization called Matthew 25 Ministries. They uh, describe their work as caring for the needy world with things we throw away, which kind of aligns us with what much of we do here in the uh, Lions Club. Uh, what they've found in 
they had already established a, a, a pill collection uh, delivery system to the underdeveloped countries of the world. And they found that the pharmacies and the doctors get their pills in a sort of a, a mass uh, collection. And they had, before they had the pill boxes, been handing them out to the patients, the people getting them into their hands and they walk home with them in their hands or in their pockets and that's not a good thing in driving rain as you can imagine. So this is, there's a need for what we're doing for sure. Uh, what uh, this all, the program also does is it uh, provides a, a, a way of caring for our environment in addition to serving uh, the poorest of the poor in the world. Now I want to talk about the acceptable bottles. These are the bottles that we should be using. I know that we came out a couple of months ago and thought we had the misunderstanding that uh, they would be able to use the any any bottle. Uh, any over the counter container yeah. that contains some sort of pills that but, was plastic. But I, I learned just recently that all they do is they put them into their recycle bins up there. So we can do that and it's just not feasible for us to collect all these when they're not doing anything more than going into a recycle bin here or there. So we're back to square one where we're uh, asking you just to, to go with the bottles uh, that are uh, coming from the pharmacies. Now I want to talk uh, a little bit about them. Uh, it's, it's necessary that they come with the tops on. I got uh, a sack full of them yesterday, a couple days ago, that uh, had no caps on them. Well, can't use those. They need those, obviously. And I want to talk about the uh, taking the, the labels off. If you take these, one good thing about the uh, prescription bottles is they come off a little easier than all the other bottles that we had been using is that if you pull carefully and slowly you can pull pull the labels off if you do it quite labeled but, but often you will at, leave some backing on the paper some of it is worse than others as it is on, on this one what I've seen all kinds of different ways, uh, recommendations on how to remove them, but there's really nothing better than uh, the Goo Gone to do that. And we, we do want them uh, clean without adhesive on them. Also, uh, if, if you have, and this is an example, don't know if it'll show up here very well, but it has some pills in them, and the type of pills aren't coated well, and there's a residue, uh, some dust, things in there. They, they want them cleaned out too. Most of your prescriptions won't have that that issue. So uh, that's... Now I understand that this year alone we are on track to take over 11,000 mm -hmm. pill containers from Teleco Village up to this organization in Hawaii. So you know you all are doing a great job supporting this already. We have five drop-off locations the library, the community church, the Edward Jones Investment Office, the United uh, Com Com uh, Community Bank, and the Welcome Center. We have placed behind the Welcome Center a deposit box there that is very convenient for you to drive in without even getting into your car, and in fact, it's covered. But you can roll down your window, put in uh, your bag of uh, of your pill boxes and out of there within seconds. That has really increased our, our take uh, on them. Now that's Gary Stewart's office yeah. uh, for Edward Jones. Yeah. Uh, now going going on, uh, the other things that we collect, as Dick has indicated, are uh, glasses. Uh, the glasses are uh, can come in the same uh, areas uh, where we're, your drop-off areas there, we ultimately put them together, send them up to Roanoke where they're uh, categorized, the prescriptions are checked, make repairs on them, and they eventually will wind up mostly again in the same places where these 
pill bottles are, are received. Now, let me say one thing about the eyeglasses. Number one, we don't want the cases. So toss the cases. Right. All we want are the glasses. And here's an example of one we collect. These are uh, store-bought reading glasses. We accept those. We accept the regular prescription glasses, any kind that you have. But remember, don't bring damaged ones or somebody brought us a bunch of lenses. We can't use those. We have to have the entire pair of glasses with no damage to it at all. Now, yes. the other thing we collect are used eye, uh, ear, hearing aids. Now, the hearing aids are collected in conjunction with the Hearing and Speech Foundation in Merrillville. Now, the Hearing and Speech Foundation refurbishes used hearing aids and provides them to indigent people in the area. Now, this is a program that we, with the Loudoun County United Way, are supporting. United Way gives the Hearing and Speech Foundation a grant that specifically targets indigent people that need hearing aids in Loudoun County. So those that grant combine with the hearing aids that are collected by the Teleco Village Lions are sent to Merrillville, they're refurbished and repaired, and then they're given to poor people in, in Loudoun County that need them. Now, there's a sliding fee scale that these people pay a little bit for the hearing aids. But again, please recycle your used hearing aids because they can help somebody being able to hear than without it. Now, the last thing we collect are used cell phones. So, Wayne, tell us about that program. The, the, the used cell phones that we bring in are ultimately sent to an organization up in, now in Colorado. And uh, there's, it's twofold. One is uh, environmental. Uh, we've learned that uh, particularly the older cell phones, the flip phones, have batteries in them that are quite toxic to the water. So we don't want those even in our, our uh, uh, dumps, uh, but certainly not thrown into the river or the lakes because uh, they, they're quite toxic. Uh, and the other thing is that these companies that accept them will repair them and uh, somehow recycle them or get rid of them in an environmental way. So uh, it's important, I think, that uh, we uh, try to take care of our resources, or in this case, the uh, cell phones, in a proper way. And we appreciate anything that you can do concerning that effort. Dick. Okay. So again, you can see that the, anything we, the Lions, do has to contain a great deal of community support, whether it's supporting our fundraisers at Golf Outing, Chile, Oktoberfest, or supporting these collection efforts. So you can give your pill containers, your used eyeglasses, your used hearing aids, and cell phones a second life and give uh, some better life to some indigent person here locally or in a third world country. Again, we thank you very much for the support. And one thing we're always looking for are more people to become lions. We recently had a uh, membership drive and we uh, inducted 12 new people into the Lions Club. So we're growing, but we need people to help us support all of these activities. So if you're interested, uh, the website address is on the, uh, will be on in the video. Take a look at that, get more information and contact us and come join us in this great service organization that supports our community and other communities throughout the world. Again, thanks a lot to TVB. Thanks, Wayne, and uh, we appreciate the support.